County. They have the most individual state wrestling champions. They have the most team state wrestling champions. And you knew it wasn't going to be too long before a Union County Bravette won a girl state championship. So if you would, tell us who you are. I'm Tanya Bacon, and I'm a Wrestle 107. And like we said, you were you you can always say you were the second ever state champion for girls wrestling in Kentucky. Of course, Emma Moore at 100 pounds was the first. You're the second. You can always say that. No matter what goes on, you can always say, I, I was the I, – whenever they put you in the Hall of Fame at Union County and other girls have won it, you can always say, look at this. You did that plaque right there. I was the second girl to ever win a state championship in Kentucky. So we've talked to – numerous um, state champions on the boys' side, and we've got their story. So tell us your story. How do you find wrestling out in Union County, or does it find you? Talk us through that. Um, well, my family, basically everyone's wrestled. So I kind of was just, like, always doing it. Mm -hmm. But we're recruiting – all, all the time like we talk to every person we see about wrestling it's just such like a big part of everything i i get it i get it and the um of course you know union county what can you say this year they the boys on the boys side now they have 15 team state championships that's the number one um in the state they're they're in first place of that category also 78 individual state champions. That's first placed in that category. 77 boys and one girl. And you are the lone girl. I'm sure next year and the years after, more girls will be added. We're filming this on the 11th of March, 2024. The uh, I've been to Union County once, not for wrestling. I went for a uh, – right there where you guys are um, – I think it's Indiana, Illinois, and Kentucky all meet, and I went out and flew my drone and done a compilation video, and I actually stayed, spent the night there in, um, I think it was, I was in Morgan Field, if I'm not mistaken, and got to go and, you know, was kind of see the school and drive around. It was a really nice area. And, um, you know, wrestling, when you think of wrestling in Kentucky, you think of Union County. You think of people like Brock Irvin, Right now, the Jordan and Jaden are the hottest thing that's come through the state in a very long time. You think of some of the names we've had on the channel. George King, Trey Sigmund. We could go on and on. Trey Blackwell. Uh, I think Stephen Little's now uh, Little Rock. Um, back in the day, you had your Robert Irvins, your Danny Lavelle's. We could go on and on and on and on. I actually have Coach Irvin's 81 and 82 state finals videos. I, I have the, the original videos of that, so we may be putting those out before too long. But this is the first year for the girls' state wrestling tournament, 2024. When you get the, the social media notice or whatever, however you found out that the KHSAA was going to sponsor and sanction a girls' state wrestling tournament, talk us through that, where you like, Finally. Um, well, I knew that it would be awesome to have our own tournament. Um, so I was obviously really excited. And it was the year after we started our girls team. So it was like perfect timing. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing that I was really like a little bit upset about is I couldn't wrestle with the boys anymore, which I really loved. Yeah. But yeah, it was it's awesome. I, I get it now. Did you get to compete in the, the Coaches Association State Tournament before this? Um, yes, I competed my eighth grade year and last year. My first okay, year. and I didn't put that on your um, your sheet, your bracket research, but how did you do in that? Um, I got second both years. Oh, so pretty, pretty, good, uh, pretty good starting off so far, but you're a sophomore this year, and you're coming into the – According to track wrestling, where I get almost all my research from, you're coming in to the state finals or state championship here with a 26-0 record. Yeah. So you're coming in undefeated. 
I, I'd have to imagine you're ranked number one, correct? Yes. That's what I thought. And you start off the your state tournament day, first round, you receive a bye. Yeah. And I believe the young lady missed weight, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. That's what I thought because um, I got to officiate this state tournament and I – I knew there was a 107 that missed weight. I wasn't, I don't remember what the young lady's name was, but I knew there was one that missed. And when I was putting this together, I was like, I bet you that's the one. So you're there, you're in the horse park, you're warming up, all this kind of stuff. When do you find out you're getting a buy? Um, so I was at weigh-ins and I get out after weighing in and one of my friends from the same team as this girl comes up to me and she says, yeah, this, our girl didn't make weight, so you don't have to wrestle the first round. And I didn't know if I was going to get a, like, alternate or what. So mm -hmm. I didn't see until I, um, I think they put it out, like, half an hour before we wrestled. So, yeah. And the, um, it, does it kind of throw you off your game knowing you're getting a buy? Was you like, man, I wanted to wrestle. Well, I never wrestled the girl before, so I really did want to, but it didn't like bother me that I didn't okay. get to. So sometimes you get so hyped up, you're just ready to go out and compete, and then you're like, "Yeah, a four, a buy, come on, I, you know, I don't want to buy, I want to, I want to wrestle." Yeah. Now, you want to talk about two places that couldn't be farther apart? The second round, which would be the quarterfinals. You're wrestling Holly Wright from Harlan County. And I can tell you from being in both parts of the state, you can't get farther apart than Union County and Harlan County. So I can't imagine that you wrestled her before, right? No, I didn't. Okay, I was going to say, I, I'll have to put in a Google map image of how far that is. Harlan County is down on the uh, Tennessee-Virginia border, the opposite end of the state. Their, their mascot is the black bears, if that gives you any indication of how mountainous it is down that way. But you win that by fall, a minute and 11 seconds, and Holly goes on to get seventh place. Now, it should be noted that of the 13 brackets, all um, everything but heavyweight, 285, was a um, 16-person bracket. So it's not like you're wrestling everybody is going to place out to eight. No, only we place out to eight, and it was a 16-person bracket. Well, I guess in your case, 15, because there was a, a, a scratch, or a, you got a buy. The semifinals, you're wrestling Brooklyn Salmons from McCreary Central, another school that is very, very far away from you guys. Had you wrestled Brooklyn before? Uh-uh. Okay. I'm just, just curious, and you win that by fall, a minute, 30 seconds, and Brooklyn goes on to get four plays. So you – You've had two matches so far, quarters and semis, and both are placers. So a pretty tough road, but you've got pins in the first period over both. You get to the championship, you're wrestling Catherine Head from Bardstown. Now, we're not going to tell you the, the result. We have, of course, the match video. We have the face-off and the parade of champions and the medal ceremony. But knowing that you are in the state finals, got to be cool first year of a sanctioned KHSAA state championship getting to hear all the hear all the stories about all the Union County state champions seeing the trophy case seeing the banners in the in the wrestling room and all that knowing that you could have your own banner you could you could be the first name on that Union County girl state championship banner it's got to be a good feeling right yeah and so when you win that match and you come off the mat um, like we said, it was no uh, have a Union County wrestler being in the finals is not a shocker. There was there was four of the of your boy or your I guess your um, I guess boys teammates in the finals. And does any of them come to you or any of you like Coach Black or Coach Irvin or any of those Coach Elam come to you and give you like any secretive um, Union County advice that only they you know give out to the wrestlers or anything like that or talk to us. Um, I mean, not like secret or anything, but they just what they just try and make sure I'm like calm 
mm-hmm. before I go out. And they don't have to like pump me up or anything. Um, most of the time they just may they remind me that I know what I'm doing and I don't have to worry about it. And sometimes that's the best type of advice. Hey, we've been here before. Hey, this is nothing new. Hey, go out and do what you know, right? Yeah. All right. So we are going to pull up the video. It is now time for the Marine Champions, presented by the U.S. Marines. Please stand and welcome our 2024 Wrestling Championship competitors. My catchphrase, you're seeing what we're seeing. We're here at the horse park, and it's got to be cool to be in the horse park. Boys boys wrestling and girls wrestling deserve the same exact treatment. Um, it was it was great that we were able to have both in the same venue, and the um, you can see the uh, on the opposite side of the arena there, you've got the big Union County Brave Nation. Union County always brings – one of the biggest crowds to the state tournament. You can always hear them whenever they got one of their wrestlers up. That's the thing about Union County. You guys support your wrestlers. Always, yeah. no matter no matter what it is. So we've talked enough about it. Let's go back and watch it. All right, so right out of the gate here, of course, we're neutral. What is your, like, go-to takedowns? What are we looking to do here? Um, I don't I don't think I have, like, a strategy. I usually shoot first, but um, other than that, I can't really predict what's going to happen. I got so, you. No, I, I got to say that you've got two of the best officials in the world out there. You've got um, – the gentleman right there in the gray shirt, Mr. John Eshin, good friend of mine. And you've got me out there. So you got two <laughs> phenomenal referees. No mistakes. 100% perfection. <laughs> All right, so you, you're you in a scramble here. And John calls you for a stalemate, which was the right call. You're pushing the pace. You can hear Coach Black saying center. Attention, please. We need all one more pound state medals. Please report to the awards area. All one more pound state medals and their coaches. Please report to the awards area. Trying like a some type of like a snap down, heavy on the head. Yeah. I don't know what I pick up there. When I was cutting this down, I can't remember what it was I grabbed. So she's doing a pretty good job defending another stalemate. So this is our third restart. Had you kind of felt her out? Was you still kind of hesitant to open up some offense or? Yeah. You're in on that single. Drag down to the mat. Nothing yet. He's he's blocking. You get a takedown with about two seconds left. All right, so we're gonna flip the disc here. And you're going to take down. 
Now, on bottom here, it's the first time we've seen you down. Or uh, What's your go-to moves on the bottom here? What are we looking to do? Um, I always try to switch, but if that doesn't work, I can go to, like, a Peterson or something. Because mm -hmm. right, as soon as the whistle blew, you were reaching back for that switch, so I can see that being one of your, your go-tos when you hit it right out of the gate. Yeah. Nothing yet, nothing yet, nothing yet. I believe we got a potential oh, an illegal hold by her. So you get a you get that penalty point there. I believe we had a full Nelson, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was a figure four. A oh, figure four, okay. Good memory. And she lifts and returns you right there. Pretty good lift and return. Yeah. Uh, She's got like a, a power half in, trying to trying to get you turned over. Did you feel like you were going to go right there? Um. Well, I'm pretty flexible, but she's really good, and she's turned me a couple times, so I had no idea. I was just okay. No, no, that's what I thought we'd like to ask. Cause she's got it in deep right there. You can tell, and you're doing a really good job of defending. Keeping yourself off your back. All right, potentially dangerous. There it is, there it is. Nice job. Step over, but there's no reversal yet. Nothing yet, nothing yet. You get your reversal, getting a near fall count. There it is, you get the fall, three minutes, 38 seconds. And you become Union County's first girl state champion. Excellent performance. And of course, we have the medal ceremony as well. And this is my amazing camera work here. I was sitting there. I was sitting there on the referee's row trying to film. Like I got to get my own. Um, videos for the medal ceremonies. So you just won your state championship, the first Union County Bravette to do it. And that, that is what your team is called, right? The Bravettes, is that right? Yeah. Okay, you're the first one to do it. Talk us through when you're sitting here waiting to get your medal. Talk us through what you're feeling. Well, um, I have my dad give me my stuff because he used to be one of my coaches, but um, I was, I would like, I couldn't stop smiling. I was so happy. And um, I was just, I was trying to not be like super, like exaggerate, exaggerating about it because mm -hmm. there was a people who wanted to win, but um, I was really, like, really happy. Hey, and all that hard work paid off. I mean, it, you're you're allowed to be happy. You know what I mean. And there you come to the top of the podium. Get your state championship medal. Your sign. Your bracket. And what a fitting way to win by with a pin in the second period. I'm sure you've probably watched the match video back a time or two since then. Um, it's. Just a phenomenal performance. It really is. When you watch it back, we we know that uh, being under the lights, being on the main mat, the eyes of the state on us, things kind of uh, go faster than we realize or they go slower than we realize. But does it play out the way you remember it as far as like what you did and how the match actually flows? Um, 
Well, I've watched the video like oh, like so many times since it happened. And every time I watch it, I see something like different that I did. And I'm always seeing new stuff. Mm -hmm. But um, it's a lot it's a lot slower than like in my head than I than it plays out in the video. Like I thought it took me forever, but I the same moves and everything, yeah. Okay. And that's talking about seeing stuff that you can improve on or you could have done this, could have done that. I mean that's that's a sign of a great wrestling knowledge and being around just a great wrestling program that you are able to pick up on so many um, little things that maybe next year you can do, or when you start practice back, or if you go to open tournaments or whatever, you see it like, oh yeah, like you're wrestling it in real life, but you're thinking about it in your thought process. Wait a minute, I've done this in the state finals. Let me try this, or let me not try that, or wh whatever the case is. But excellent performance. Um, of course, like you said, you're a sophomore. You have the opportunity at two more shots at making it on top of the podium, being a three timer. You can tell some of those guys, hey, you guys won it once or twice. I'm a three timer. Get out of here. You know what I mean? Get out of here. Yeah. Move, move, move over, Brock. Move over, Jordan and Jaden. Move over, um, uh, Stephen Little, whoever it is. I'm a three timer. Now what? I'm the first three timer in Union, girls Union County history. Now, talk to the. Um, to the girls, not just in Union County, but across the state or across the country for that matter, because we know people in just about every state watch our videos. Talk to the girls that are on the fence about coming out for wrestling. Make the case to them to come out, whether they join Union County's team, they join wh whoever's team it is. Maybe they start a program just because there's interest. Talk to them and make the case for coming out for girls wrestling. Okay. So when you wrestle, it's like that's the only thing that's like important at the moment. And when you get your hand raised, it's like everything you've done is worth it because if you got put in a lot of time and a lot of hard work and sometimes it sucks like when you're working, but it feels so good to get your hand raised and know that you did something. Absolutely, and that's a lot of a lot of people across the years that we've done videos with have said, you know, that exact same thing is um, cutting however many pounds of weight, or the long bus rides, or whatever it is, the long practices they get out there on a Saturday for the meet or weeknight for in front of their school, and they, you know, winter by fall, and they get their hand raised. We raise our hand up. It's like, yeah, you know, it's a feeling that you just can't replicate. So I think that that was a good um a good speech. So to the um to the young ladies, to the girls that are in elementary, middle school, high school, there's a very good possibility that there's a club team at least, or maybe even like a uh middle school team, high school team that has wrestling. Reach out to them and see if they have a girls team. Reach out to them. Don't there's nothing wrong with reaching out. And wanting to be a part of it because we had a great turnout this year for the girls, crowd-wise, a number of competitors, and I just see it only getting bigger. It was big enough that the KHSAA had to adopt it, so it's only going to go up from here. And I think, I could be mistaken, but I think that now like 39 or 40 states in the, in the United States of America have adopted girls wrestling, and the ones that aren't, are like right there on the fence of doing it. So we pretty close to having all 50 states um, having girls wrestling. So that'd be great, great to do. So before we wrap the video up, I like to give everybody the opportunity. If we haven't brought something up that you'd like to or any uh, shout outs or any um, anything like that that you'd like to add to the video, the floor is yours. Um. Just, I have the best coaches and the best team. And um, even if, like, you're a girl who wants to wrestle and you don't have a girl's team around you, you can practice with the boys and wrestle with the boys. But if you don't, if you want to wrestle and you don't because there's no other girls, then there's never going to be other girls. So you have to just 
do what you want. Mm -hmm. and, and that's a, I think that's a great place to wrap up the video, put a bow on this one. So Tanya, like you said, you're a sophomore. You have two more opportunities uh, to be a state champion. And I'm sure you'll probably do some off season work or probably do some open tournaments or whatever. But um, if you do win it, in the next two years, you went back to back, went one of those years, whatever the case is, we'd love to have you back and follow up with you. But we definitely wanted to get all 13 of the original girls that won it. That way history can be preserved. That's something about this series that I love is preserving the history and making it so accessible to people. And that way you can look back on this in 10 years, 15 years, your family, whoever it is, the the up and coming um brave vets in the elementary programs or maybe the the girls that aren't even born yet they'll watch this video and be like well if she did it i i, I want to try it she was oh yeah. she's a she's the first wow oh yeah i watched her review video wow that was that was cool to get to hear her her story i'm glad that she said that but uh, uh thank you for being here thank you for doing this i'm sure the wrestling community in Kentucky and across the country because Union County, they've got name value when it comes to wrestling. And now everybody can see that Union County is on the map with a girl state champion. So that's all that we have. We will see you guys and girls on the mats.